Hey guys, so we have another Rivera video and I promise you this is probably going to be my last dedicated Rivera video. I am not sponsored. I am not getting any type of compensation or anything. I just find this tool extremely interesting and I really like it. But I wanted to do a requested video from you guys. You wanted me to try the machine with twists in my hair and I've been getting this question a lot all over my social medias. I'm going to do that today talking really fast because I have two meetings and I have to hurry up and get to them. So I don't know how much time I have. I might have to stop in the middle and come back later. I had a photo shoot earlier in the week and my hair was really wet. And so I did test this out on like big twists. I usually, after I wash my hair, I'll do three big twists and call it a day. So I put one uh, twist in at a time and my chunky twist did fit in the machine and it did dry the outside of my hair, but then once I took the twist out, the inside was still wet. So I knew that I'd have to try it again, but with smaller twists. So that's what I did today. I washed my hair this morning and put smaller twists in. So I think I have like 15 or 16 twists in my hair and I'm hoping that that will dry it faster. <clears throat> Let's see what this looks like. I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping that I can do this pretty quickly. I'm gonna use the same technique that I've pretty much been using throughout all my videos, which is I'm going to start on low heat and then I will blast it dry with high heat. And I tend to find that this helps me retain the most moisture, which I really like. I'm putting the machine on level six suction. And yeah, I think that's all the information. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. And so I will uh, see how this works and I'll come back with the results. Lego. <laughs> One thing that I forgot to mention is that I will be using heat protectant because girl, please, not crazy. So I'm just spraying my hair and my body apparently with heat protectant. Let's see if I can just kind of put it on my whole head. Heat protectant is on and now let's go. Okay, so I did end up having to take like an hour and a half break because I did have two meetings, but total this took about an hour to dry. I'm not 100% confident that this side is completely dry. I'm actually gonna just let this sit and cool down and then I'll feel it and see what's going on. This side is definitely dry because it was just kind of sitting out as I had my meetings, but I just wanna wait and see what this feels like. So the twists look beautiful, <laughs> but those ends though, look at these ends. That is not the ideal twist out end. Wow, I, I couldn't get over it and I was trying different things, but because the vacuum is just pulling the hair down, it just automatically kind of wants to stretch the hair. It's just straight on the bottom. We'll see how that looks when I take it out. I was like, mm, but it might look cute. Who knows? I'm not going to judge it quite yet. My hair feels super moisturized. It feels very good. And like the twists are really bouncy and springy. And I actually really like what the machine did to my twist. They just look really healthy and springy. And usually when I set my twist out, I'll stretch my twists around my head and bobby pin them in place. And I'll just air dry it or dry it under my hooded dryer. And that's usually how I get my twist to stretch. But when you do that, 
that because you are pulling them and compacting them you don't get this really nice bulbous kind of look to your uh, twist so I really like that even though my twists are stretched they're still really kind of puffy I really like that puffy voluminous look to them because it just looks really healthy so I do like how the twists look with the exclusion of the ends of course. <laughs> so this ended up taking longer than if I was just blow drying my hair or reverse blow drying my hair just out, not in twist, obviously, because the hair is twisted up, so it's gonna take a while for it to blow dry. I also noticed the heat a lot more since my hair was in twist. I think it's because there's just so much like scalpage going on. When you get up to your roots, you really feel that heat on your scalp, so it can actually get a little bit hot. And I, I was actually shocked. I was like, whoa, I didn't even know that thing got this hot. I mean, it wasn't terribly hot, but it was, I could feel the heat on my scalp. So I did have to like kind of take it off sometimes and put it back on. It's not a bad thing. It's just something that I noticed. I do feel like the drying time took a while. I still didn't even know if I'm done. That's the thing too, is that you can't really tell because your hair is in twists when it's done. You kind of have to like pinch it just to try and get to the inside and feel. So it did take a long time for my twists to dry, but I do have thicker hair. Maybe it'll be less drying time if your hair is thinner. So let me just, oh, see? Yeah, it's still wet on the inside of these twists. Oh my God, it's so annoying. I feel like this takes more effort than it's actually worth. And this thing is getting really heavy. <laughs> really really heavy let me try to finish drying the inside of these twists and i will be right back do you remember me i'm the one who broke your heart i'm here i'm here if you still so i have about 10 minutes to finish up this video so i'm gonna just have to take it out and we're gonna see we're gonna see what this looks like so this is the side that I had finished earlier. So this should be the driest side. Hmm. Okay, it's dry and it feels moisturized. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby boy. Mom, well, I can say it's dry and it feels nice and moisturized, so that's good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. See what's going on here. Kind of looks like when I do my like winter wash and go. I'm actually surprised that this looks, wow, okay, this looks kind of cool, I like this. This looks really pretty, actually. I am shocked. Mm, it's a little, it's a little wet up there. So it definitely did not dry all the way. twists were slightly bigger is definitely still wet and you can kind of see how like it's shrunken right here but I don't think it's bad I actually think it looks really nice and I don't mind the ends that actually makes the hair look more natural and this is actually a really pretty twist out it's gorgeous actually I really like it the hair, it, it, you know, it looks like my, when I do my winter wash and go, like a wet twist up kind of look. And when I do that, I'll usually stretch the hair and then sit under my hooded dryer or I'll let it air dry overnight. This is what this looks like. You can see this part really starting to expand. I'm probably gonna have to go over that. It feels so nice. Like I just love how this machine makes my hair feel. It's so moisturizing. So I guess my final thoughts are, yes, this machine can dry your twists. Do I think it's the best way to dry your twist or the most efficient way to dry your twist? 
No, I feel like it takes a long time because this machine is so heavy holding it up for that long. I just don't think it's worth it. There's just such easier ways to dry or twist. Like for example, if I had just sat under my hooded dryer, I could have gotten them dry in like 30 minutes and I would have had both hands free to get some other work done. So it's kind of wasting time standing here trying to do this. But then again, if I had used my hooded dryer, it wouldn't feel as moisturized as this feels. So I guess it's just like, I don't know. They both serve different purposes. I probably won't reach for it again just because I do have a hooded dryer that will be a lot more efficient for me. But this made my hair feel amazing. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna fix this frizz here really quick. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, the suction, so that it doesn't stretch my hair too much. Bot treat this bad boy. Oh, so that works. Okay, so yeah, it does a much better job of drying your hair like outside a twist. I still love it for that. I think it's a beautiful twist out though. I just don't think it's the most efficient twist out. I don't know, maybe I would do this again. I can't say. It wasn't the most enjoyable, but the results are pretty. Because I wanted to try this on soaking wet hair, I really wanted to know what the limitations were. So I feel like if maybe you started on damp hair, they would dry a lot faster. Maybe that would be a better use of the machine and your time. But it does do a very pretty blowout, so I'll give it that. I'm gonna style my hair and I will be right back. Okay, now that I'm styling it, yeah, I don't hate it. I actually think it looks really cute. It gave me so much volume. Okay, it was worth it, dang it. I would probably do it again. Especially if maybe if you're like at a photo shoot or something and your hair doesn't dry. It's kind of, it's nice for a touch up. I would definitely do it again. I think I would just do it on damp hair, not soaking wet to save some time. I think that would probably be the best option, but I do like how this turned out. This is pretty. Whew. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. I hope this video was helpful. Um, of course, everything that I use will be linked in the description box, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.